kids, welcome back. I just got back from New York. I had such a good time. And one of the things I saw there was the Brooklyn Bridge. And I thought it was really cool. So I thought it would be fun for us to try to draw it. The Brooklyn Bridge is one of the oldest bridges in the United States. So here, let's get started. At the bottom, we're gonna draw part of the river. It's called, it was the East River. And so all we're gonna do is kind of draw some waves, all right? So all you do is to kind of make waves is to go like this. Okay, like that, that's all you have to do. Okay, so that's the bottom, that's where the river is. All right, and maybe you can even make it look more wavy by putting some down here at the bottom. Okay, so here we go. Now the first thing we're gonna do is draw what, to me it looks like kind of like a tower, it's what holds the cables, all right, of the bridge. So I want you to put your marker right here Make sure, I didn't know if I told you, but make sure you have your paper landscape, not portrait, because we're going to make a great big bridge, okay? So you need it longer this time. Okay, now go here, and then I want you to put your marker right here, and I want you just to swoop down like that, and it's kind of curved. Now we're going to do another one, and so just put a marker about one finger's width away from that one, and now it's going to be long, bigger at the bottom, so maybe like two fingers over here, and put right here, and just curve it like that. Okay, now we're gonna put another line and it's kind of down here. So lower than, put a dot lower than this dot, down here a little wider than this one. Just go down like that. And then you're going to just draw a line straight down like that. And then connect these two, like that. Now we have to make the other tower. So we want this, this tower to be the same size as this tower. So just kind of go across with your finger and put a dot and then Bring this one out here, not straight down, but kind of at an angle over here so that you can curve it, okay? So just kind of curve it down to there. And then this one here, this is a little higher than this dot, so just put it up there. And then another dot down here, and then just kind of curve that down here. This should be wider than this up here. Now this one here, a little bit higher than that one. And then this is gonna be wider than this one over here, so a little bit further apart. Just kind of curve it down like that. Then just kind of put these lines together like that. Okay, now we have like a road that's of course going across the bridge where the, the traffic crosses, okay? So this is going to have to use your imagination and just because you're gonna not draw on your tower, not right, any, not right now anyway, and just kind of curve it, go across, Curve it, pretend to draw, and curve again. Now, we need to make the road, so keep going, do it again. Make sure you go across. And then just a little line next to it. And down like that, okay? Now what I want you to do now is to draw the tower. This is the, the opening, the arch where the, t the, the cars go through. So you need to make this line right about even with this line right here. See that right here, go like this, and then you're gonna go up like a big old frowny face, a big upside down you, just like that. Not to the top, but just about there, okay? And now this, this line comes to about down here, a little bit lower than that one. Okay, and then we do the same thing over here, right from here where this line is, then we're gonna go down all the way to about right here. So all the way up and down, like that. Okay, now we're gonna draw these lines going through, because the road is going through this. So we're just gonna take it from right here to there, okay? And this goes right here to there, okay? Just like that. Now this one here, oh, and this one has, does too. This one goes right here all the way to there, okay? Now we do the same thing over here. We just go over to here and go over to here, and then this one goes all the way over to there. Okay, guys. Now we have to put the cables on. So just put a dot right here, find the top of your tower right here at the corner, and you're gonna take this cable all the way up to this corner. 
All right, make sure you don't take it from here. You need to take it over to here. So this one right here, and then you're gonna make a great big happy face. Don't go into the road. Just kind of right there like this, like that. And then now this one goes from here to about right there. Okay, and just swing it over like that. All right, and we just have to do the other side. This is gonna be right to here, to here, like that. And then you take this one and you go like that. Okay, and then we do this side, right here, swing across, go down, swing across. Okay, how we doing? How we doing? Okay, now we have to make the cables. So all you have to really do here is just draw some lines like this. Like that, can you see that? Just straight down. All right, just draw some lines. Okay, then over here too. Straight down. How we doing? <laughs> All right, and we can also do some up here. All right, Just like that. And then you, we might wanna just add some, like, I don't know, you might wanna add some clouds. You know, on some clouds when you paint them, might be fun. Maybe add another one over here. How's that? You like that? Okay, and then this is all brick and stone, and so we might just want to kind of just make some dots over and like this. You can just make some dots so it looks like it's made out of stone. And you can do some over here too. Just some dots. Just to kind of give it some texture. Like this. Then when you paint it or color it, you can kind of maybe remember that. Then this here, I want you to color in. Right here, I just want you to color the whole thing in this bottom right there. Right here. Okay, because that's the, actually the edge of the bridge. This right here is the road, and this is the edge of the bridge. Okay. Kids, how's yours look, huh? Should we put a seagull up here too? I bet there's lots of seagulls there being near the water. There. There we go. How's that? Well, this was so fun to do. I really want to see yours. Please make sure you take a picture of it after you draw it and color it and send it to me. The email is at the bottom of this page here, and I will post it on our art gallery. Okay, until next time, time kids. See you. Bye-bye. Wave them